Hey crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Sunday, January 8th, 2023. This puzzle has a title, it's called, Do You Hear That? This puzzle is also accompanied by a note. The note reads, Each italicized clue contains a blank, which should be filled in with a letter of the alphabet. When completed, the letters in order will spell out a two-word phrase. All right, let's get started. One across, villains, antagonists. Is that gonna be heroes? Let's see if we can build down through that. Fastener used with a padlock. Oh, that's called a hasp. Yeah, that's a bit of a rare word there. The E in FEMA abbreviated. Um, that's the Federal Emergency Management Administration, is that right? So that's going to be emergency. Let's see if that's right. 2007 Lil Wayne song that opens Young Money, you dig? Um, I don't know if I know this song. Word before the year on US paper currency. Hmm, before the year, that should be series, right? And then it's signed by the Secretary of the Treasury. Okay, Diamond Singer to fans. That's Rihanna, so this should be Riri. Um, is that with E's or with I's? I want to say it's I's. QB protectors collectively, that could be the O line, the offensive line. Time to decide who's in or out. Um... I really want that to be elimination round, but that definitely doesn't fit. Hmm. A-M-I-L. Is it like a milli for a million? Hmm. Polite Spanish Ascent. I really want this to be C si, Senor. Nice, okay. Maybe it is a milli. Interesting. Is this really not elimination round? That would be too long anyway. Active Sicilian Volcano, that's Mount Etna. Hmm. Presses control plus P plus blank plus Easter egg coloring. Okay, so here's our blank space and our italicized clue. Um, so this needs to be filled in with a letter of the alphabet. Hmm. Okay, well, presses control plus P should be Prince, right? Um. That doesn't fit, though. Only print would fit. Easter egg coloring. Shouldn't that be dye? Maybe that's the end. So maybe this is just kind of a three part clue. The first part is print or prints. It's weird that it's not prints to me. Um, if they wanted print, it should just be press control plus P. Hmm. Uh, what is this down? Welcomed at the door. That should be saw in. Okay. Um... Is this like the letter E? Wait a minute, shouldn't this be Princess Di? Um, hmm. Like it's a homophone of Princess Diana? Princess Di. Okay, so it's homophone, so that's why it's a little weird. It's going to be Prince, and then the letter S, and then die. So doesn't that mean this has to be an S? Prince S die, right? Um, so is this really not C, si, senor? That seems weird to me. Hmm. Um, oh man. Prince S die. Oh man, 
This is really throwing me off. Is there a rebus? ES? Uh, no, that doesn't really make sense. Hmm. What's going on here? I feel like we're really close to figuring this out. Like Captain James T. Kirk by birth? He's in Iowan, according to Star Trek mythology. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I think it has to be Senior. Princess Di. Um. Hmm. Let's just make sure Die is right. Think pads, e.g., once. Um. I think think pads were originally manufactured by IBM, so maybe this is IBM's. Um. And then maybe we have D.I. Princess Di. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I have no idea what's going on here. Um, let's see if we can figure out what these letters should be. Doc in the Mets Hall of Fame. That could be Doc Gooden. He was a great pitcher. Removed as a knot. Okay, that should be untied or maybe undid. So it is Princess Di. Oh my god. Um, <laughs> this is so confusing. Uh, let's see if we can get this. This would be very helpful to figure out maybe what should go on in this C Senior answer. Hmm. Blank plus golfer's cry plus ugh. Okay, so shouldn't this be four for golfer's cry? Hmm. I don't know what the beginning is going to be. That's just going to be a letter. Fragrant noodle soup made with beef. Um, well, I'm not going to know about that. Boggy stuff. That could be Pete. Literary award shaped like a rocket. I think this is going to be the Hugo, the sci-fi award. Milky gemstone. That's got to be opal. Okay, so is this euphoria? This makes a lot more sense to me. We have the letter U, four, that's the golfer's cry, and UG, which is a, uh? um, yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute, that doesn't really make sense to me. Euphoria, UG. Hmm, okay, that end doesn't make sense to me. Euphoria. Uh, hmm. What is this? Common solvents. Wait, maybe this is euphoric and this is ug. Ick is a much better synonym for ug. And then maybe these are going to be acids of some kind? Yeah. Irks. Hmm. This is about annoying someone? I guess it could be an I. Holy City. Is that Holy Toledo? That's very funny. Hurry, that could be high. That's kind of an old fashioned word. Encore, an equivalent phrase. That's gotta be again. So, what is this? Is it something day? Oh man. Um. <laughs> this has gotta be wrong somehow. Princess Die. Wait, is it just Princess Die? Oh my god, why was that so hard to see? Okay, yeah, we weren't sure how it was working at first, but this makes sense. Princess Die, euphoric. Okay, so these kind of three step clues make sensible crossword answers that are homophones of the three things in the clue. Okay, that I think finally makes sense. This is going to be election day. There we go. This is C, Senor, finally. And this is A, Millie. Oh my god, we finally undid that horrible knot up here. All right, and I think we have enough information to hopefully tackle the rest of these theme answers without too much trouble. Okay, 
Uh, sure, an equivalent phrase. That should be, I guess, language suffix, I think has to be ESC. Spanish seasoning. Um, this has to be the Spanish word for salt. And I need to remember if it's an A or an E. Um, I think the E is French, so I'm going to guess it's Sol. Uh, let's see if that's right. Hindu goddess in the Ramayana. Um, I think that might be Sita. Let's see. Subject of clip art. And this is wordplay, so this is not about digital clip art on your computer. I think this is going to be a bonsai tree because you clip the branches. That's very clever. Small thing to keep on track. That's got to be a model train. That's kind of punny. Making a level. I think that should be truing. Serpentine constellation. Hmm. I don't know if I know of a constellation that's a serpent. Interesting. Ambidextrous features. And this is wordplay, so I guess it's not about features for people that use both of their hands. Hmm. Ambidextrous features. I'm not sure where the pun is here. It may have just desserts. This is very tricky. Yeah, this is not about just desserts is in something that you deserve. The giveaway is in the spelling of desserts here. It has two S's. So I think this is gonna be a menu. A dessert menu would have just desserts. Power project. Maybe that could be a dam. You're trying to make hydropower. Um, maybe this is Draco. That could be a dragon. Ambidextrous features. Oh my god, is it all of the vowels? Because they're all in the word ambidextrous. That's very tricky. A-E-I-O-U. And we have an I-O-U here, too. Promise to pay, yeah. Okay, so this is our next theme answer. Blank plus scroungy mutt plus parent's sister in some regions. Um, it looks like it's gonna be something in French, right? Maybe it could be au courant? That's the only thing I can think of that would fit. And aunt could be parent's sister in some regions. Um, a scroungy mutt is a cur. And then, oh, I guess our letter is O. So we have S, O, and U. Okay, we've got the start of our theme phrase here. Broccoli follower, that could be Broccoli Rob. I love Broccoli Rob. I'm frustrated, and we have a bracket clue here, so our answer needs to be nonverbal somehow. Hmm, I wonder if it's just arg? Let's see if this works. Doohickey? Yeah, that could be a thingy. Tweens, e.g. Um, this is like an age of children. Tweens. Hmm. Follows. Maybe that's obeys as a rule. Real mess could be a sty. What do we have here? An equivalent phrase. That's gotta be oh ho when you catch someone in the act. Human rights activist Zhao Bo, the first Chinese citizen to be awarded the Nobel Peace Prize 2010. Um, I feel like I have heard of this person. I can't remember the rest of their name though. This is gonna be youths, tweens, yeah. Converter of natural heat energy. That looks like it has to start with solar. So this is Lu Xiaobo. Um, I don't know what this is gonna be though. Hmm. Chances, that could be odds. The odds are good. European river, that's an anagram of reed. Uh, okay, well we need to put in an E and an R. I think Adair is maybe more likely, it sounds German to me. Let's see if that's right. 
intestinal bacterium. Yeah, that could be E. coli. Choir platforms. I want to say that's risers. Numero de años de soledad in a Gabriel Garcia Marquez novel. Um, hmm. We're looking for a number. Uh, so this is years of something. I don't know. Is it cien? That's a hundred in Spanish, right? Some RPI grads. Um, okay, so this is Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute. So maybe these are going to be electrical engineers. Let's see if that's right. Okay, we're at our next theme answer. Column crossers. That should be rows plus sentry. Maybe that's guard plus blank. Um, rose garden. Oh my god, there we go. All right, I think we're finally getting the hang of this theme. Ways suggestions abbreviated. That should be roots. This should be nettles, right? For irks. Okay. Um, maybe this is acetones. Oh, there we go. More than a couple. That's got to be three. So we have there. Non-gendered possessive. Yeah. Okay. Influential leader of the seminal people. Hmm. I wonder if I've heard of this person. The landlords of New York once. Why is this in quotes? I guess it's got to be a nickname, right? Maybe that could be the Astors because they owned so much real estate. Is this thing on? Another bracket clue. Maybe that could be tap tap on the microphone. Okay. We've got another theme answer. French festival, familiarly plus blank, plus actor Michael. It looks like it's going to be Candy Cane. Um, I guess the French festival is Cannes, the Cannes Film Festival. So that would leave us with a D for our missing letter. Candy Cane. Very nice. A little late for the holiday season, but still acceptable. Um, and then what did we have here for this letter? Um, this is going to be an N. Okay. Um, let's wait till we get to the end to go through all of the letters again. Baja Peninsula Resort for short. Oh man. Um, I don't know. Is it Cabo? Is that right? Cherubic Archer. Um, hmm. It's not Eros. Is this an R in the thick of? That should be a mid. Hardly Mr. Nice Guy. Is it no gentleman? Hmm. Hippocratic Oath Takers abbreviated. That should be doctors. First do no harm. So maybe this is a more. Yeah. Influential sorts. Hmm. Maybe that's. Big shots? That's pretty funny. Flattering verse has got to be an ode. Maybe it is no gentleman. That does fit too. Nice. Frozen villain? Um, I think Hans was a villain, right? In the manner of. That's got to be Allah. Um, hmm. This is not looking familiar. Foil lookalikes. Well, a foil is a kind of fencing sword, and so are epes. Um, what is this? Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen this before. Osceol. Ooh, that's tricky. Tandor bread plus Harlem music venue plus blank. Okay, I want this to be non- and Harlem Music Venue should be the Apollo. So, non-apology? <laughs> That's really funny. Non-apology. So that leaves us with G as our letter here. Hmm, gotcha. An equivalent phrase. Is it O, okay? Is that right? Some origin stories. Yeah, that could be myths, okay. 
The Wind in the Willows Squire. Hmm. And it's referencing something over here. I know I saw a film version of this as a little kid. I don't remember any of the names of the characters, though. Nice try, but I don't think so. An equivalent phrase. Um, I really want this to be... Yeah, no. <laughs> That's dripping with disdain. Okay. Move in real estate lingo. That's got to be relo. Rugrat plus magic stick plus blank. Um, shouldn't that be a tot? Hmm. This one is tricky. Magic stick could be a wand, maybe? Hmm. It looks like it's going to be Taekwondo. Why is a Rugrat a Thai? Hmm. Am I pronouncing it wrong? Is it like Taekwondo? That doesn't really help. Hmm. Well, let's put it in because I think that's what it's going to be. Taekwondo. Rugrat. Hmm. Resistor unit. Yeah, that's an ohm. That's a unit of electrical resistance. I'm sure all of those electrical engineers could have told us that. Uh, actress de Armas. That's Anna de Armas. Corleone for one. He was a Don in The Godfather. So this is Mr. Toad. Yeah, like in Mr. Toad's Wild Ride at Disney World. Okay, that does sound familiar, finally. Eh, what can you do? An equivalent phrase. Um, hmm. I'm not sure what this should be. It's not wealth, is it? That would be so contemporary. Is this a P? Toilet paper spec. Oh my god, it is. It's ply. I can't believe they put whelp in a crossword. That's crazy. Okay, making all the stops. That's going to be a local train. Portion of a log. Um, is this talking about a log in mathematics? Hmm. I don't know. Oh, it could be a log on a ship, like a captain's log. This could be an entry. That's very tricky. Pioneered could be lead. Unteachable sort in a saying. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. Response to, shall we? Let's. Yeah, I'm game. Rock and Roll Hall of Fame City, abbreviated. That's in Cleveland. Vamooses could be scoots. Rod with seven AL batting titles. Okay, so this has got to be baseball. Hmm, I don't know if I know this one. Demonstrate extreme flexibility as an acrobat. Hmm, uh, I don't know if I know this one. As an acrobat. Existential emotion. Is that angst? Yeah. Rod. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna know this. Pretentiously affected. That's gotta be arty. Demonstrate extreme flexibility. Maybe that's contort? Like a contortionist? Scenic stroll from the Spanish. Hmm. Um. From the Spanish. I'm not sure. One cast in a fantasy movie. Is this a part that someone would play? Like an elf or a wizard? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. It could be a spell, right? That would be cast in a fantasy movie. That's really, really tricky. I love that misdirection. Um, is this a Prado? I feel like I've seen that word before. Soul-based carrier. Okay, so this is an airline? Hmm. I wonder. The two A's here is worrying me a little bit. Punching tool plus chopping tool plus blank. I really want this punching tool to be an all. 
and a chopping tool should be an axe. All axe? Shouldn't that be all access? Okay, so maybe this is not Prada. That was kind of a wild guess. All access, nice. So it looks like we have another S here. Hmm. Soul-based carrier, yeah, I don't know. Burrito-shaped lunch counter item. Hmm. I don't know if I'm gonna know that one. Armpit anatomically. Oh shoot, I know I've come across this word before. Um, yeah, there is a specific biological word for it. I don't think I'm going to remember it. Crossed off. Is it did? Like on a to-do list? Move to a larger pot, say. Um, that should really be replant. So this is not did. That'll be replant. Um, oh, this is a typo. This should be an E. This could be X'd, maybe? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, that's still not looking familiar. Insult that's also a measurement device. Hmm. A measurement device? I have no idea. Part of XXX. Hmm. I guess this is tic-tac-toe. So that has to be tick. Digging. Maybe that's into. You're really liking something. Doesn't just sit there. That should be acts. Boxing stats could be TKOs, technical knockouts. Gangster film prop. That could be a gat. That's a slang term for a gun. So maybe this is a solar engine. I don't think I've ever heard of that. Um... Okay, so this is some kind of stick? It's not a slapstick. What are they talking about here? Hmm. This has got to be a vowel. Oh, is it a dipstick? Oh my god, okay. Yeah, that measures the oil in your car. That was very hard to see. Um, maybe this is going to start with deli? Does that help here? Not really. Path covered with diamonds. A path? What are they talking about? With diamonds? Hmm. Athlete's cup. Is this like a trophy? You win the cup, like the Stanley Cup? That's very tricky. Yeah, this is not talking about a piece of equipment. Okay, Goofus could be an oaf. Dance squat? That's gotta be a plie in ballet. Where Mr. Toad's wild ride ends at Disneyland. Um, I've actually never been to Disneyland, so I don't think I've ever gone on this ride. Uh, it starts with an H. Maybe it's home? Maybe you get back to Mr. Toad's home? Key ingredient in key lime pie. Hmm. It starts with a Y? I don't know. Opposite of Neo. Um, that could be Paleo. So maybe this is not home. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna know that. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we shouldn't guess at where this ride ends. Rocky Mountain Bugler. A bugler? What are they talking about? Hmm. Covered with diamonds. Is it some kind of carpet? Hmm. Word of obligation plus blank plus Punxsutawney name. Okay, well, they've got to be talking about the groundhog in Punxsutawney, Punxsutawney Phil. Word of obligation. Is it must? Or duty? It's got to end in Phil, right? Hmm. Is this an elk? Bugler? Why would an elk be a bugler? 
and Mr. Toad's Wild Ride ends in hell? <laughs> Is that right? That sounds a little scary. Um, hmm. I think we have to guess Elk here. Are they talking about the animal or is it like the fraternal organization, the Elks? I'm not sure what they're talking about here. Hmm. Um, hmm. We're gonna need some help for the beginning of this one too, I think. Floated down a river, say. Hmm. I don't know. Boy, this section is very, very tricky. Yeah. You know what this could be? Maybe it's a patio. Um, although I think they're looking for a word that means scenic stroll in English, so maybe that doesn't make sense. Hmm. Yeah, let's take this out. Uh, is it Rod Carew? I feel like I know that name because of Adam Sandler's Hanukkah song. Hmm. Rod Carew. Yeah, maybe. I don't know how to spell it. Oh my god, let's get out of here. Immediately. That could be stat. Quick to think or act. Hmm. Uh, is it agile? That seems okay. Islands that form atop underwater volcanoes. Okay, there's got to be a word for that. I don't know if I know what it is. Black cat classically. That could be a bad luck omen. Is this a theme answer? No, it's not. Iconic 1984 movie vehicle that was a combination ambulance slash hearse. That's got to be the Ecto-1 from Ghostbusters, right? Um, is it the Ecto... Mobile? Was that another name for it? I've only heard it called the Ecto-1. Ectomobile. Yeah, that's got to be the Ghostbusters car. Annoyances when trying to make change. That's got to be large bills. Okay. Most likely to offer solace, say. Um, is that nicest? We have an OB. Belt worn with a yukata. Yeah, that's right. That's a Japanese sash. Bic, company that owns Whiteout. That sounds right, a pen company. And these are the islands. Maybe these are atolls. That would make sense, like the Bikini Atoll. For fear that, that's gotta be a list. High school science class for some college-bound students. Okay, that's gotta start with AP. Maybe AP Bio? Let's see, uh, this could be tubed, tubed down the river. Hmm, I don't think it's gonna be dutiful. It's gotta end in fill. Yeah, couple of llamas, and this is wordplay, so this is not about a pair of llamas. I think it's gonna be about these two L's in the word llama. So that'll be L's. Tessellations. Uh, that's like a repeating pattern. What is that gonna be? Does it begin with tiling? Ooh, yeah, tilings. Nice, okay, that is kind of like repeating. Um, maybe it is duty. Duty fill? That can't be right. Hmm, boy, this is tricky. Soccer score plus blank plus Scottish inlets. Um, okay, so this is going to be goal. D, is it locks? Yeah, there we go. Scottish inlets. So that'll be Goldilocks. Anything for you? An equivalent phrase? Maybe no prob? Yeah, that seems okay. Although SB seems really bad. Eye affliction. Yeah, that should be a sty. Um, hmm. I don't know what this is going to be. Michael of 2007 Super Bad. Yeah, that's going to be Michael Sarah. Wraparound garment. Hmm. It's not a sorry. 
What is that? A kilt, maybe? Yeah, it's kind of funny crossing these locks here. Is this gnarly? Challenging informally. Yeah, that'll be gnarly, all right. Calm, that's gotta be sedate. Grr, another bracket clue. Um, so the nonverbal part is actually in the clue this time. So our answer needs to be a verbal equivalent. Maybe that's so mad. So this should actually be name it anything for you, right? So that means this is not an O, this is an A. Um, what? I guess it ends in lane. Oh, it's a carpool lane. And the diamonds mark the HOV lane. Yeah, wow, that was really hard to see. Um, okay, so this is gonna be autofill. Word of obligation is ought. Wow, O-U-G-H-T. Autofill, so that gives us an O for our missing letter. Um, I guess this is a deli wrap? I guess so. And this is gotta be Karoo with an E-W. I think maybe I have seen that name before. And I still have no idea here. Is it a Paseo? Maybe. Um, I wanna say this is probably an A. Asian A? I guess maybe. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to put in here. Let's try an S, and let's go ahead and find out what our theme phrase is before we put the final letter in. So we have S, and then O, and then U, and then N, S-O-U-N. Um, where's our next theme answer? Is it here? Yes, it was can D cane. So I think the first word is gonna be sound. And then what is this? S, okay, it starts with S. Um, it's gotta be E, non-apology. O, S, E, O, is that right? S, oh, it's a G. Um, non-apology. Wait a minute, S, G? Hmm, maybe this S goes at the end of sound, so it could be sounds, and the next word starts with G. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. So this will be G, O, and then we have O at the end of Taekwondo, and soccer score, goal, D. So we have a D, it'll be sounds good. Wow, that's such a great revealer because all of our theme answers have to do with homophones or how things sound. And of course the title of the puzzle was, do you hear that? Wow, what a tight theme, I love it. All right, well let's go ahead and throw this last A in there and see if that all sounds good. All right, a Sunday puzzle in 54 minutes. That's a little bit on the long side, but yeah, this was kind of an involved theme. It was a very interesting homophone theme. Each theme answer had a three-part clue. It was always one part mystery letter and two parts homophone clues. Wow, I mean, we went over this already, but this was a really interesting theme. I ended up having a lot of fun with it once we finally figured out what was going on. This first one gave us fits though, the process of figuring out that it was homophones. I really, really wanted to put in prints here, P-R-I-N-T-S, and boy did that cause trouble. But once we finally got our feet under us, this theme was really, really fun, yeah. I think we were really rolling once we hit the middle section of this grid. I think the one thing that really gave us trouble was this section here, and I think it was just because there was a few really tricky entries Paseo, I definitely didn't know. I didn't know Asian A, and I didn't remember Exilla either. That's a tough one. Yeah, this is a tough little section, but we did finally get through it. And as for the rest of the fill, it was pretty solid, and there was even some very nicely tricky clues. 
I absolutely loved this one, Subject of Clip Art for Bonsai Tree. And this was a very devious misdirection too. One cast in a fantasy movie for a spell. I definitely fell for that one, that was great. Alright, well I thought that Sunday puzzle was just right. If it sounds good to you, I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the easiest puzzle of the week, the Monday. Alright, I think that's going to do it for now. I'll see you next time.